What's up guys? Um, today I got almost all of my parts for the remote line for the it's it's for the Tipman TCR, but this is basically the same thing. It just has Berna brand. Uh, in my opinion, Berna should have had this all from the start because basically what they did is they uh, like doubled the price of the Tipman TCR, removed stuff, um, and I mean they may have made it more reliable or something, but um yeah basically this these parts i may have bought the last one of this um but i'm gonna try running a uh tipx the tipx remote line adapter because as far as i know uh the internals of the tipx and the internals of the tcr are basically the same thing um like as far as the regulator and the valve and uh i think the um, I'm not sure what it's called, but there's a piece in here that's, it allows more air to flow through the TCR. I think it's the valve body. Um, and it, it has, this already has, like this is stock from Berna and this already has that, um, high flow valve body in here. Um, I'm not good at like, like I don't have a setup for, uh, showing how to do this and stuff. So, I mean, maybe I'll try to make a video, but, um, Jeff Mackey from uh, Umarex Less Lethal Home Defense. He has a video and he shows basically a, a breakdown of how to do this. You will need to like um, carve out some stuff, some of this plastic on the housing. You'll need to get it, like basically remove the shell, remove the, sh the all this stuff. And then once you're in here, you, uh, you put this um, fill extension I think it's called you put this on the back of the regulator and then uh this is like a swivel swivel sleeve and this will rotate on here and then this is what actually connects the uh the remote line so that's like a quick uh you know eighth inch quick disconnect and then this threads in to the swivel connector and um i just bought parts and o-rings based on the diagram that i found of the tcr the titman tcr so i might have not picked up a correct o-ring like i i feel like i need something to secure this end piece on to here because right now um like yeah the pressure is going this way and then it's going down the tube but there's no um uh, it, this isn't loose on this sh on this um, extension, this nipple extension. It's not loose on here because of the O-rings, but there's nothing keeping it from just basically sliding off either way. But there is tension on it because the O-rings are filling this gap between the inside of here and that. But um, I feel like I might need a retaining clip or something. I I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see what happens um, or if I can find out more information about if I need like a, a retaining clip or something for the end of this so that this doesn't continually just go down on the side. Um, and, uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is my, I have one of the, my brother has one of these too. And, uh, this, we bought these like two years ago. So like at the time I never really looked at like what else, what other like less lethal options were available. And, uh, in the past few months, I really looked at like <clears throat> what, you can buy how you can mod things and stuff like that. So if I had known the information that I know now about like a uh, rifle style, less lethal or like a midsize, you know, compact or midsize, less lethal launchers, I probably would have gotten the Titman TMC or the uh, Vulcan M17 over this because uh, this was already pretty hefty of a price. Like I bought this two years ago. So when I got it, it came with the rifle bag and, um, you know, just the base TCR, which comes with these two magazines and uh, a target, a target. Um, it's like that $60 uh, Berna target. And that thing's already thrashed. Like, I think I shot it at it like 100 rounds or so from about 20, 30 feet back. And and it's just destroyed. I could I can try to like um, saw it all up, add some fabric and stuff to it, but I I have this box that I'm using now and that works completely fine and I just set up a paper target in front of it and there's way less effort in me doing that versus trying to um, sew things and fix the Berna target trap. 
But anyways, when I bought this, it came with the bag, the target trap, this, and it was uh, like, I think it was $650. I, I looked at my um, my Burna account uh, a couple days ago and the total was like $680 with tax and everything. So it's not cheap. The, the Vulcan M17 is like 350 bucks. And I'm, I haven't really looked at like parts and stuff for it, but I'm sure it's less than $687 when it's fully upgraded. And uh, it, it's probably more powerful than this when it's fully upgraded this it's hard to get parts like i said i already i think i bought the last one of this from titman parts um and then i had to basically go to i went to one website for this these two parts i went to titman parts for this piece and all these little o-rings um a few months back <clears throat> i saw that you could change the gas line inside here and um I bought this a few months ago from Rockstar Tactical. So just this stuff I have right here was from three different suppliers. Um, the last piece I needed to get is a, uh, it's optional, you don't need it, but I, I think I would want to put it on here. It's a uh, uh, check valve and that goes in, uh, I believe it goes in here where that little hole is. And that basically lets the air only go into the marker and not out the other way. Um, but that's, I am, I'm pretty sure that's optional. I don't need it, but, uh, I have found a place that has the, uh, check valve because Titman parts did not have this and they didn't have this. And, um, what I bought from Titman parts was all these random little O-rings and I, I put two, three of them on here. So there's one, two, and then three, three O-rings. So I bought those O-rings and these O-rings and this, um, swivel piece from titmanparts.com. And then I went to, uh, I think it's called PB Sports, and they had this uh, um, uh, quick disconnect that fits these threads, because this isn't a normal thread. This is, I had to measure this and see what this is, but uh, it's not like 1 8 NPT. It looks like a metric thread, and pretty fine. And then this was also at PB Sports. Um, I'm assuming that the Tipex remote line has the same threads on it. And the Tip-X remote line is basically this piece and then this piece um, sticking out the back. So uh, I guess it looks like, like this if my hand wasn't in the way. It would basically be this piece and this piece. So it would just be a straight tube coming through. And obviously I'm going to have to get other fittings, maybe like a 90 degree uh, elbow and like a, a extension nipple so that it could fit through here and then have a 90 degree coming down and then have a uh, quick connect on the bottom of it. Another option I had in my head, which I haven't, I haven't tried any of this yet because I still uh, want to go to the, um, I live really close to ANS gear. So I want to go to ANS gear and see if they have the tip X remote line adapter, which I've seen on their website and I'm, I'm pretty sure they have it. I just want to see if these threads are the same. And then, um, there's two other parts I would need to buy and what that would let you guys do is you could make this remote line with the Tipex remote line and other pieces because basically Titman doesn't make these anymore. Burn is probably not going to allow anyone to make these. The only way you can get this is if you <clears throat> go to like a machine shop and you pay, I don't even know how much they would charge you for a custom piece like this. I don't know how many of these pieces are left on PB Sports, but I was able to buy them. Um, and I think this this piece was like 10 bucks, and this piece was like nine or eight or six. I'm not sure, it wasn't that expensive. <clears throat> and then this was, I'm pretty sure this was the last one titmanparts.com had. This was 14. And then yeah, all these little O-rings and stuff, they were like a dollar each or $2 each for each one. And um, this, this gas line is for a Tipex. It's the long line in the Tipex. Um, it should fit this. And uh, I measured this uh, inside diameter of this hole with just a tape measure, just kind of eyeballing it. I don't have a caliper or anything. I need to get one. Um, it looked like nearly an eighth inch, which is what I've heard. Um, uh, Mercy Less Lethal, he made a video like a year or two ago, and he said that the stock long line in here is kind of narrow 
the hole on the inside is narrow. So what he did is he drilled out that long line, the inside hole. And uh, I haven't taken this apart yet. So what I want to do is take this apart, take off the long line, take off the little plug that's in the back of the regulator, check this brand new Tipex long line, the inside diameter of this hole versus what's actually in the TCR. And if, if this one is, is wider, then I'll probably just install it in the TCR. But if it's more narrow or the same size, then I will have to drill out. Um, I'll probably drill out this one. Make, I'll make sure that it fits and stuff before I do any of this. <clears throat> and then drill this one out like a little bit wider. Um, but yeah, like basically the only option that most people have is to, I don't even know if this works because I need to try doing it still, but to get a tip X remote line, a couple extra fittings, and then you'll have a hose sticking out. And uh, what you can do is with that hose, attach that to your remote line or attach it to like um, some tanks and stuff or maybe some like um, solid pieces of pipe. That's what uh, Jeff Mackey did. So if you see his video, he has like um, a 25 gram CO2 attached to it and it's it's all, you know, attached right here. Um, and it's all self-contained. He doesn't have it like on a big old like 20 ounce tank or a 12 ounce um, CO2 tank or like a, a giant uh, 48 CI um, HPA tank. <clears throat> I think he's he's still doing stuff. He'll probably come out with a video at some point. Um, but yeah, that, that's just a breakdown of how expensive this is, how it's hard to find parts. And if you really want to like mod the crap out of this thing, I would just stay away from it. Like if you don't have one, I would not buy one. Um, cause stock out the box, it's not that powerful. And, uh, like the original TCR, it had the, the D shaped, um, breech in here, which will let you shoot first strike rounds or those shaped rounds that have the little like fins on the back and they shape, they're shaped like a capital D this only shoots round ball because uh yeah Berna they did some dumb stuff to this so they took out that that shaped breech which allows you to use the shaped projectiles they removed the remote line I think they changed this gas line to a more narrow um line like the the inside diameter is smaller so it doesn't allow as much air to pass through and uh um, like obviously they made it orange. The original Titman TMC is black. So I'm kind of thinking of writ dyeing these pieces to black. Um, and I think that might be all they did to change it. But I mean, in my opinion, they should have just left it alone. Let you use the remote line. Like basically they, they removed parts, made it cheaper to make, but then doubled the price. So that's kind of like crappy in my, yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of dumb that what they did do it. <clears throat> um, now that I know all this information about it, because when I bought this, I was on the Berna hype train. I was just like, oh yeah, Berna, I'm going to buy it. So I bought it and I don't regret buying it because it's been two years since I've had this and only in the few in the few months recently, maybe since like October of 2023, I started looking at um, other less lethal launchers and and then I started seeing like what this actually is because I had no idea that this was a Titman TCR. And then by the time I knew about the Titman TCR, it was already discontinued. <clears throat> I think that released in 2016 or 2015. I don't know when they scrapped it, Titman. I don't know when they discontinued it, but it must have been like maybe 2020 or 2021 where they decided not to manufacture it anymore. Um, but yeah, uh, so I don't know, maybe in a few weeks or a month or something, I still have to, like I said before, I have to go to ANS gear, see if the Tipex um, remote line fits or has the same threads. I might even just take this over there and rip it all apart on the counter because they're cool and the, they let you like look at stuff and check things out in the store. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to do some stuff and hopefully if the Tipex remote line works and these fittings that I'm going to buy work, <clears throat> then like everyone that is interested in putting a remote line on their Berna TCR will be able to because the Tipex as far as I know, they're not going to discontinue the tip X. It still sells like they still make it. It's, it's still owned by Titman. Um, and then, yeah, if anyone's interested in, in making their own remote line, you would be able to, but, um, like I, if anyone's already done it with the tip X remote line, you could just like, let me know or comment or whatever. 
But uh, I haven't seen any videos of anyone making a remote line for the TCR, aside from Umarex Less Lethal's uh, home defense. He's basically been the only guy I've seen that has a remote line on it on YouTube. And I've searched like Reddit and Google and like all kinds of stuff, like looked page after page after page, and no one has anything about a uh, Tipex remote line on this. And yes, you will have to drill out or like grind out some of the housing on here, but <clears throat> to me it's worth it because you'll get more um you'll get more shots it'll be higher power and uh you won't be using like your 12 gram every like three shots or every five shots because yeah 12 gram with hitting like 50 joules or something you're only going to get like five good shots out of it maybe even less than that um but anyways guys uh, uh just letting you know it's just an update on my tcr and my my plans for it but i'm not sure when i'm gonna have it all ready to go um, these are just puncture seal um, O-rings because I've read a lot of stuff about uh, people's uh, little seals in here getting messed up from either uh, not puncturing the CO2 correctly or uh, it just wears out. So I'm trying to buy parts for this to keep it maintained good because this is uh, two years later. I, like I was way past, I'm way past the point of returning this to Berna. There's nothing wrong with it. But um, now that I know all the information I know about less lethals <clears throat> and what this originally was before Berna bought it or bought the patent off of it or whatever they did, made a deal with Titman to make a less lethal TCR. Um, before I knew any of this stuff about this thing, that's when I bought this. And then it's just been kind of like sitting in my house for the past like two years. And uh, my warranty is almost up with this thing. I think in like August, it's going to go away. But, um, yeah, uh, I'll probably uh, let you guys know what's going on with uh, the remote line and stuff every couple of weeks if, when I make videos or if I do it this weekend. But I'm not sure. I, st I still need to check on stuff. But anyways, um, have a good one.